Hey guys, it's Gina and today I'm super excited to be sharing with you my wedding hair tutorial. I'm actually filming this of course after I got married because I wanted to include some photos and some actual clips of the day of when I'm getting ready. And I take you through how to do this really easy hairstyle for naturally curly hair. It was really important for me to wear my hair naturally curly for my wedding because that's how I normally look. That's my natural hair. And I think it's really important to just show off your natural texture for your big day versus straightening it or blowing it out. And my wedding was outside and it was the first weekend of October, so it was still a little bit humid. So it really would have been pointless to straighten my hair. And that's not how I wear it on a regular basis anyway. So I'm really glad that I chose this hairstyle where it's kind of like half up. And I love how with naturally curly hair, you don't really have to do much to it at all. Like it just already looks formal because of the curls and stuff. So it's not like you have to go through and curl it with a curling iron or anything. And I share with you tips too in the video on how to actually create ringlets without using heat and without having to use hot tools on your hair. So I am going to be taking you through the full wash day routine from start to finish. It's if I didn't include um, the actual shampoo and conditioner part, but if you want to see what I did first, I actually did a clarifying treatment first using an apple cider vinegar rinse. I will put that video down below all about clarifying, but I did the apple cider vinegar rinse first and then um, I did deep condition. So I do have a video all about how I deep condition. So I did those two first and then I styled it with the routine that I'm gonna show you now. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm first gonna start off by wetting my hair down. You want your hair to be pretty wet. My hair is freshly washed, so I'm just getting it a little bit more wet to go in and apply it my styling products. And then I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Anti-Breakage Spray. This is what I pretty much use as my leave-in treatment. I know it's hard to see with the camera glare, but I will be sure to link all these products on the blog post that goes with this video if you're interested in getting them. But I like to spray just my ends with this, and that's just to use as a heat protectant when I do go in and diffuse my hair. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite styling cream. This is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. It's a really great all around curl cream for any hair type. If you have less curly hair than me or more of a wavy texture, you could go with their Wave Maker or any curl cream will do, or you can skip a curl cream altogether and go straight in with the gel. I love the Dippity Doo gel that we're gonna be using by itself, but I just felt like my hair needed a little bit more moisture. If your hair is pretty dry or if you have high porosity hair like me, then it's good to use a curl cream first to add that moisture in, and then you can use the gel to seal that moisture in so you don't have any frizz. So now it's time for the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. This is my all-time favorite gel. It always works so good. It gives me really great definition that lasts a long time. And I like how I can scoop out as much product as I want. And I like to apply quite a bit of product. I really try to coat my hair evenly. Um, so I am just combing this all throughout my hair. And then I did flip my head over and this really helps me get a lot more volume at the root by applying my styling products totally upside down. It's kind of hard with this gel because it is such strong hold that it's kind of hard sometimes to get your fingers through it, but just be gentle and just work slowly um, so your hair doesn't get tangled up, but it does help with having that cream in underneath. I did add a little bit more water just because my hair starts to dry really fast as I'm applying it, but I would note that with this gel, you don't want your hair to be too wet. I made that mistake the night before my wedding when I was styling my hair. I think I used too much water to wear when I actually went in and diffused my hair, it's like I had hardly any product in, so I definitely had to refresh a lot the next day. Um, but I would recommend having damp hair um, and don't wet it too much. Um, so here I'm just using the Denman brush to smooth that product down. I really like using this brush to distribute the product. Um, so I'm just combing that all throughout my hair and I have a really annoying part in the back that no matter how much I comb my hair over it, it still shows. It's bothering me as much as it's probably bugging you. <laughs> But I'm just smoothing the curls down and this really helps give me great curl definition. It also helps distribute the product. So now I'm just giving my hair a little bit of a scrunch. I'm gonna scrunch when I'm totally done so I didn't wanna do too much here. Then I flip my head back over and I like to section off the top layers and make sure that I get enough product right at the root in this area because I tend to get frizzy up around the top part section. So that's what I'm doing here, just dividing it up. And then I'm using my Denman brush to create a lot of ringlets around my face because this is the area that is going to show up a lot. With the half up hairstyle, you do see a lot of this underside layer. So I wanna make sure I have a lot of good ringlets with it. Um, you can also use the brush to go around the crown area and make sure you have a lot of volume back there. Then I'm gonna plop my hair. I'm actually just using a t-shirt today because my favorite hair repair towel that I always talk about was actually in the wash, but I will link you to that towel. Um, so I plopped my hair for about 20 minutes and now we're taking it out and we're ready to diffuse. 
So I do diffuse upside down. I'm using my Croc Magic Diffuser, which I have on my Amazon page. Um, it has really long teeth on it, which is nice because I can get right up at my roots. I like to diffuse upside down for added volume, and then I do flip my head over, and I also get the underside layer with it upright. So once I'm done diffusing, I like to go in and just touch up the ends around my face because they tend to get really frizzy. Um, so I'm just adding a little bit more water, a little bit extra gel, and then I actually go back in and diffuse it just to touch it up. Um, I think these just get frizzy from getting roughed up with the diffuser. If you do find that your hair gets super frizzy with diffusing, you can kind of just hover the diffuser around your head versus actually touching your hair with it um, because that will start to break up the gel cast if you diffuse for too long. So now I'm finally done diffusing. You can see how much volume I have. I did try to not make a part I try to keep my hair back because I knew that I would be doing the half up hairstyle tomorrow okay so now it is the next day and I'm actually going to show you how I did a refresh in the morning so my hair looked pretty good still when I woke up um, I did have to wet down some of the upper area that got pretty frizzy so I just sprayed it with my spray bottle and then I smoothed some gel back over it um, I also like to take the Denman brush and redefine some curls that might have been frizzy or tangly. Um, I do sleep with my hair up in a um, satin bonnet, which helps tremendously, um, but I do like to touch up, especially the areas around my face using the Denman brush, and this is a really great way to get really good ringlets. Um, so this is an excellent way to do that versus using a curling iron. I do not want you guys going out and using heat for your big day. I definitely think you can use other methods to try to get good ringlets. So I highly recommend the Denman brush. It's really affordable on Amazon um, and I get great ringlets with this. I have a whole video that I did all about how to make your hair curlier and so you can use some of those tips. Um, another tip is to blow dry it after you do that, even when you're refreshing because that just helps set the curl in place. So this is all that I did with my hair that morning. So I did try to refresh a little bit before actually going to my wedding venue and decorating for about four hours. And then I did a little bit of a refresh before I styled my hair. So now's when I'm actually gonna take you live on my wedding day, or not live, but actually show you the footage from the wedding day. I did have my sister, who's my maid of honor, I did have her take some footage of me getting ready and doing my hair the day of. So it's really special to have this footage in here and too bad I couldn't get more from that day. Um, but she did show how I was kind of spot refreshing my hair. Um, my hair didn't get messed up too bad because we were mostly inside when we were decorating and stuff, but I was surprised it didn't get more messed up than it did. And I had to do this super fast too. I had like 10 minutes because I spent so much time on my makeup that I didn't have much time to do my hair. So now is when I start gathering my hair on top of my head back to where I can pin up the top pieces using bobby pins. And I recommend trying hard to not separate your curls too much. So if you can kind of pick up different ringlets and pull them back versus separating your curls and pulling them apart, which would give you volume, but you might lose some of those defined curls if you're trying to go for having lots of ringlets. So you'll see me here. I'm just kind of picking up different curls that already looked like they're formed together to pull that back versus separating a bunch of curls. Um, and I am using a little bit of water. You can use water on your hands if you want to kind of smooth down frizz. I do like how the gel can be reactivated with water um, but I didn't want it to be too slick back I wanted it to stay kind of messy which is why I did this on second day hair um, so I'm just kind of gradually using my fingers to comb it back I didn't actually brush it with a comb or a brush or anything like that you just want to kind of use your fingers to pull it back so you have kind of that messy PC look um, and now I'm actually gonna take two bobby pins that match my hair color and I'm going to crisscross them in the back and this is gonna make sure that it holds up really well. It's not gonna slide throughout the night or anything like that. So once I got the hair up, I was actually able to see which pieces in the front needed to just be fixed. And so that's what I was doing here. Um, but pretty much I was good to go to go ahead and add the actual hair clips. So here's where I'm adding the jewel hair clips. These I actually got on Amazon. They're just two pieces that you can kind of crisscross together and make into one or you can use them separately. I did need some help arranging these. It was kind of hard to do behind my head, so my super nice photographer actually helped me with it um, because my sister was recording here, but I did just put um, one clip on each side, so it was kind of like a butterfly shape. Um, I kind of wish that I had crossed them and put them closer together, but I think it looks okay. And I also liked how these were bendable, so I probably should have kind of flatten them down to my head so they weren't sticking out but I think it turned out fine so now we are good to go and here is the finished look I love how it turned out you could definitely use other hair clips if you had a jewel hairpin that went all the way across I think that would look even prettier because it would definitely hide those bobby pins but overall I really love how it turned out so that is it for this really easy naturally curly bridal hair look 
I will put all the products that I use linked on the blog post that goes with this video, which will be the first link in the description box down below the video. And I will also link you to where I got these hairpins from Amazon. I believe they come in other colors too. Really affordable and they held up pretty well throughout the night. And if you're interested in seeing more of my curly hair videos, I do have a playlist that I've been working on called Curly Hair Care for Beginners, where I take you through how to transition to your natural texture tons of tips for beginners on how to care for your naturally curly hair and I have tons of routines and stuff if you want to see some other styling routines I'll put those playlists down below so if you decide to try out this look I would love to see your hair looks in your bridal photos please tag me on Instagram if you post any or you can send me any in a direct message I would love to see your hair for your big day if you decide to try out this look and that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching congratulations if you are getting married please consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already and I will talk to you next week bye everyone